and let's use our gazillion dollar militarized space program to do something useful and send the FBI, the CIA, the DEA, the NSA, and the ATF, and the Pentagon to Mars and leave them there. One of the most unusual candidates to emerge in American politics recently is a punk rock star, Jello Biafra, who ran for the office of mayor of San Francisco. In a field of nine candidates, with no money, experience, or political connections, a surprising support became evident early in his campaign. His press conferences attracted widespread media attention, and his candidacy was a serious concern to the incumbent mayor. Next mayor of San Francisco. Let's hear it for Jello Biafra. spirit then was different than it is now and uh, part of that was uh, you know trying to do something that nobody else did and then sticking to your vision and never looking back in government or whatever I have none meaning his I most effective campaign off. tools however were his rock concerts with his band the dead Kennedys <laughs> more about rebellion and less about uh, skateboard endorsements and uh, putting your music in TV commercials or things like that. And then, of course, the police smashed in the window to my house and came in and tore it apart. And eventually, this was Los Angeles police in San Francisco, uh, lo looking for you know, looking for evidence to uh, arrest me for the Frankenchrist album. The holdout may be offensive to some people. Still, the Los Angeles city attorney says that's not enough. I think that this is a cost-effective way of sending out the message to those people who wish to profiteer off the distribution of harmful matter to minors. Well, it, I also um, had had long discussions with other band members about the pros and cons of this piece of artwork, so I had very, very strong reasons for including it with this album. Unless we consciously just say no to our vicious circle of greed that the American experience is right now, we find ourselves caught up in it, even if it's just a defense mechanism. And I think that that piece of artwork bro drove it home. It said, uh, we can complain all we want, but here we are. We have met the enemy, and it is us. Here we are as a people preoccupied with screwing each other in more ways than one. And does it bring fulfillment of the soul or happiness? No, it does not. conditioned, especially since Reagan got in, to uh, be both scared for the future because they know things are getting worse and worse, but feel that they can't change it, so they shouldn't try, and they should just try to build more of a cocoon around themselves. And that's why it's up to me and all artists to show that there are other alternatives besides what they are telling us. <laughs> to the President of the United States, and all 98 election winners wake up. I mean, why should they make poor people get their welfare cut to balance the budget when Bill Gates, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, and Ross Perot should balance the budget? They want a, an advertising agency wanted to buy Holiday in Cambodia to put it in a Dockers commercial. And I thought that was just about the sickest idea I ever heard in my life. So you've been to school for a year or two and you know you've seen it all. And at his cousin, if you go far back east, you take a crawl. Play a sticky jazz with the reach of snares and your bug brain stereo. Rock it, let you know how the niggas feel cold and the sun's got so much soul.
Would you like to tell what that what the lyrics is about? You wrote them, right? And I don't that, understand your question. The, yeah. the lyrics are kind of self-explanatory. 